Pros. 1. Battery life is awesome. I used to plug my old phone to a power bank every day just to get through the day, but this baby lasts all day and I have a long host of apps running in the background and constantly make Skype calls overseas. 2. Big screen and bright. 3. Space for two SIM card and a separate slot for micro SD card. You don't need to sacrifice slots. 4. Sturdy. I've dropped it a couple of times already prior to getting screen protector and good case and nothing happened to it cons. 1. For some reason Viber and other phone apps like TextMe, TextNow, etc. don't work on this device but I think this might be an issue with my carrier. Right out of the box it's got too much bloatware and if you are not careful you might end up installing an app by accident. If the phone came with just Android 9 this phone would be perfect. 3. Picture quality is good but I am not a photophile, which if I was I'd be buying a whole separate professional camera anyway. For the price, durability, and battery life I recommend this phone any day over any expensive a dollar dollar galaxy or iPhone. July 22nd 19. The phone is great, the performance is good, the battery drains is all right, finger sensor is quick, and the screen is also good. Wow I love this phone. Upgraded from a Samsung on 5 and this phone is superior in every way. Plenty of storage and RAM and fast CPU. Have not connected to cell service yet so only using Wi-Fi. Only complaint is number 5 GHZ Wi-Fi, only 2. 4 GHZ, but that's okay. The 720p display is beautiful and less resolution just means longer battery life and less laggy games. I love everything about this phone. It even has a TV remote built in lol also it has my UI 11 as of November 2019 which is great. Android 10 in the future possibly. I like the features that this Xiaomi Redmi 7 phone has so I decided to buy one. I am not sorry that I did, the phone works great with simple mobile and the phone is packed with features that the more expensive smartphones have. The size of the phone is big and it's well made it also comes with a case. For the price this Xiaomi Redmi 7 works great and is a global phone so it does work with carriers in the United States and is a feature packed smartphone. Came with all the accessories as described, soft phone case, charging cable, micro USB, and wall adapter setup is easy, screen to body ratio is great, however video playback on YouTube is only at 720p ordered it on Wednesday 3pm ish, it arrived today, Friday, at 10am it doesn't get any better than T. Decent screen, great battery life, huge screen, responsive and fairly quick really impressed considering how cheap it was. If you're on a budget 100% get one, totally worth it. Camera 4 fifths, but surprised, more than I expected. Best supports my AT&T easily. Just pop my SIM in and voila it works straight away. No need to worry about APNs or SIM register, setup. Good 4 gram signal. Gorilla Glass covering is very smooth and smudge resistant. Triple slot. 2 SIM plus micro SD card. Screen quality 4 plus 5. It's not full HD but difference can't be felt. It's very good display. Best is Android 9 out of box and 4000 mAh battery. Both matters most to me. Not a gamer, so can't comment on that. But feels snappy to use. And last a nice case in the box. Pros. Works as advertised, low cost, good price to performance. Excellent phone for the average users. Cons. No cons, it's a low-end budget phone so don't expect high-end features. 
If you want more, then you gotta pay more. Got this phone for my dad because I didn't want to spend much. This phone works just fine for him, he mostly goes on YouTube, makes calls, gets confused by emails and occasionally uses text. Review Update September 15, 2019 The first week of September my dad said the phone screen suddenly went black, the phone itself would not turn on. It was already over 30 days. I contacted Amazon and followed a few suggestions, but the phone still would not turn on. The Amazon reps via chat were helpful and sent a replacement. I received it Thursday September 12, 2019, prepped it, allowed the battery to fully drain to 0%, charged it to 100%, and now my dad is using it again. I am hoping it was just back luck, and that the previous phone was just defective. It'll update this review in a month or so. I bought this phone as my smart remote, because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a phone device that I'll use at home to play videos and music off of every day. I am an iPhone user but I use this as my second device at home and when I am traveling away from home, not everyday commuting. How I use it? Stream music using Spotify onto my Google Home speakers and Amazon Alexa. Stream videos from YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video to my TV. Keep a lot of stuff downloaded for when I fly. Click link in description for more reviews.